Hello everyone and welcome back to my Destiny reaction series. My name is Terra if you don't know me, and my goal is to catch up on the story of Destiny before the Final Shape expansion. Uh, if you've watched my Beyond Light Part 2 reaction, you'll notice I'm wearing the same clothing because I couldn't wait another day to watch Season of the Hunt because who's on the front screen but Uldren? And I am very excited to meet Uldren after the reading I did in the records. So I'm not gonna waste any more time. Let's see this new Crow character and how he plays out in the story. Let's go. Darkness, our ancient enemy. Osiris? Foretold by many they came, as the war mind warned us they would. They were confronted with fire, and when that failed, met with intrigue among the bones of Io's last monument to the light. It promised us power, and for it, a price was paid. A lull holds the system, though it is not emptiness that gives us pause. Yet not all is lost. Stand, Guardian. Brandish your light and join the hunt. Zavala, this is Osiris. I promised you updates. Fang of Sivu Arath. Sivu Arath is one of the sisters? Question mark? Like to Savathun? I did some reading about Sivu Arath. I don't fully remember how they play in, but I know they're very powerful. Oh, oh, Sivu Arath was responsible for the death of Segura because Segura had to save Osiris. Oh, I'm placing it. There we go. I'm in. I'm in. Let's go. There's not much to tell. Akiri, Mars, Io, and Titan are gone. With that in mind, I wanted to give you the gift of perspective. I'm sending you an artifact, long kept in the care of my followers. It is of hive origin, a fang of Zivoir Wrath, mm. sister to the Taken King there Oryx. We go. There we go. The traveler may have reformed until it acts. Understanding the darkness is our best chance of defeating it. Perhaps in this relic there is a real, tangible hope. Not just empty promises. I needed to put some distance between myself and Earth. So I headed to the Dreaming City. The city itself is still caught in its curse loop. It does. It's still caught in its loop. That is so cool. Never be able to undo the damage that Taken caused here. Unsurprisingly, Petra remains useless. Oh, Petra. She doesn't know where her queen is. And that leaves us with fewer allies than ever. Mm -hmm. Oh, and, uh... Let's say... No, I found a letter hid in my ship. Tell him, uh... No. Never mind. I'll tell him myself. They're so gay for each other. They're so gay for each other. I love it. I came back to the tower, but you were in a meeting with Ikora, so I went to see how Anna's work with Rasputin is progressing. She's made several failed attempts at importing his consciousness into the body of a dead exo. Hmm. Anna has a brilliant mind, but she's squandering herself trying to salvage the remains of that Golden Age tyrant. She should put her talents towards something more productive. No. Maybe I'm just bitter. I love hmm. Rasputin. I, dude, I want Rasputin Exo. A Rasputin Exo would go so hard. The orbital path of Nessus has changed. Likely due to the sudden disappearance of the Leviathan. I could not find any evidence of the ship or Callus himself on long-range scans. But remnants of the Cabal still linger. Hmm. According to the intercepted transmissions, Callus' daughter, Keitel, Keitel, is trying to rally what's left of the Red Legion. <sighs> As if we didn't have enough problems. <laughs> That's what I was just thinking. <laughs> to the reef, hoping to find insight into Keitel's agenda among the Cabal there. Instead, I found something else. There's so Callus is fricked off, and Keitel is trying to rally the rest of the Red Legion. Fun. Wonderful. A, a strange new presence here. It grows as an organic technology, like a, a small tower. There are Cabal gathered around it. Enraptured by something I could not perceive. Hmm. Perhaps their own desperation or, or madness. 
A long-range scan of the structure was inconclusive, save for confirming it was of hive origin. I need to determine whether it is just delusion attracting the Cabal, or something more. Every day there is some new horror. Is this where he loses Sagira? These are like message logs from him, right? I stayed in the reef to further observe those hive enraptured Cabal. Oh no. They did not rest. Simply spent hours kneeling before the structure. Oh, Sometimes no. they screamed, other times they cried, but mostly they were just silent. They left come morning, wandering out to the fringes of the shore. I decided to examine the structure more closely. But I'm certain I heard something calling to me. Sivuara. Beckoning. Sagiro convinced me not to perform any further investigation for the time being. It's dark out here. I sometimes forget how isolating deep space is. I'm on my way back to Earth, but it will be at least one more day. I wonder how Saint is doing in my absence. I worry about him. <laughs> about how well he's adjusting. How he blames himself for all this. He has such a big heart. Perhaps if we hadn't meddled with history, none of this would have happened. Sagira initiated a long-range scan as we were entering Earth's orbit. Oh no, because I know what happens? This is like amping my anxiety so much. Looking for signs of that same hive structure we discovered at the reef. We call it intuition. There are more of them on the moon. I went to speak to Eris to seek her counsel as an expert on the Hive's witchcraft. But I could not find her. Perhaps you know where she is? I just had the most interesting conversation with our friend Spider, back out in the reef. Not only did he already know about these Hive structures, but he's found others on the tangled shore that my scanners missed. He claims some of his agents have gone missing. And there are rumors of disappearances among the houseless fallen as well. Sagira so patched into local cabal communications. Keitel's scouts noted unsettling discoveries among the Red Legion stranded in the system. Entire encampments abandoned. Evidence of internal conflict. Hmm. Mass graves. Whatever is going on with these hive towers, we need an answer. Going to Saturn. I may have a way to find it within the derelict hulk of Oryx's dreadnought. Tell Saint he's missed. So it's because of Sivu Harath's uh, Sivu Arath's influence, basically driving these cabal and others into a frenzy. It was a success. I was able to reverse engineer the hive's organic communication systems within the dreadnought. I directly interfaced with their network of collective consciousness. Mm. The things I learned, Zavala. The things I learned. The hive is fractured, shattered, turned on itself. Mm. The Black Fleet intends to punish Zavathun for interfering with its efforts to communicate with us. No one knows where the Witch Queen is, Interesting. not even her own court. And now Zivu Arath is using this opportunity to consolidate her power. I will return to the reef tomorrow. So Sivu Arath and Savathun are not necessarily working together. They're bo they both have their own plans and are messing about on their own. To confer once more with Spider. He says he has news for me. As distasteful as Spider may be, his information network is vast and uh, surprisingly well researched. According to his people, the hive structures are called cryptoliths. Mm. They spread Cryptids. like the roots of a tree and bore into our dimension. No word yet on their point of origin. Spider claims to have his best man on it, but... Uh, Sagira and I have our own suspicions. Oh. Zavala, I am presently en route to the moon to search for more information on the cryptolites. Sagira and I are going to touch down and investigate. To all corners of the system. Mara. I've emptied the armories on the fringe. Sent Corsair warship fleets. 
deployed harbingers. And yet, the Black Fleet persists. I know what it's taken from you. Petra, I've been away too long, and for that, I apologize. Mara's coming Your back? Your compassion and leadership have been a boon to me and our people. This all started with the Dreaming City. I shall return to finish it. Hmm. <sighs> Savathun will be waiting. Right. If anyone is listening, then. Sagira is. She sacrificed herself to save me. From them. From the high. I'm tracking the creature responsible for Sagira's death. I will find it. I will end it. Zavala. I need you to send the young wolf to the following coordinates. I won't wait. Dude, Osiris sounded heartbroken. <laughs> oh, God, that whole time I was listening, I was like, oh, he still has Segura in these recordings. He's about to lose her. Change and choices. Saint-14 is a pillar of unshakable light, beaming warmth down on you. My friend, sit with me. You sit with Saint and his pigeons. Time passes as the two of you look over the city and watch indistinct motion flow through its streets. Do not forget to take moments like this to clear your mind. Saint-14 rests a hand on your shoulder. Osiris says the mind is a muscle. It must be worked, but it tires, too. If it carries too much weight for too long, that is the lesson I taught him. The Traveler has spoken to us. It roared against the darkness, and the pyramids halted. He places his hand on his hips. Ikora does not see it so. I mourn, as she does, but this is a time of change and choices. We must take care in the examples we set. Be patient, he crosses his arms. Vengeance is a dark road. Instead, let us pursue justice. For Sagira? I mean, in the reading that I did, Osiris was going to die. Sivu Arath's projection had fully overpowered him, and Sagira was like, I'm not going to let them take you, and <laughs> saved him. Gubby, we have a developing situation that I need you to take point on. For the past few weeks, Osiris has been trying to assess the damage caused by the return of the darkness. He believes that Zivu Arath, the Hive God of War, seeks to take advantage of the power vacuum left in its wake. Osiris was investigating physical manifestations of her magic near the Scarlet Keep when... his ghost, Sagiro, was slain. Osiris delivered a message through a secure channel requesting that you personally aid him in this hunt. He's desperate, Guardian. I need you to save him from himself. Yeah. I'm... I'm worried about Osiris. If Sagira's gone, then... Don't worry about me. But keep your voice down. I'm using an external comm. I thought I was hunting Sagira's killer. The High Celebrant of Zivu Wrath. But now I think it's hunting me. Your friend is in a lot of danger. Meet me in the Hall of Wisdom. Glint! Glint! Who are you? He cut the transmission. We have to hurry. A concerned ghost. Osiris shouldn't be here, especially in his condition. We appreciate the warning, but we know what we're doing. If you and your guardian are here to help. My guardian, right. Osiris, can you hear us? Yes, I can hear you. Learn I'm so excited. I just want to cut in really quickly. The reading that I did, the reason I'm so excited to meet Crow is because the there's a, there's a record that... Glint is upset because Glint didn't get the chance to name Crow. Um, and then Crow, like, consoles him. And he's just so sweet and gentle and so thankful for being alive. I'm just, like, really excited to see a different side of Aldrin. And uh, uh, I'm just excited. I think there's a lot of, a lot of interesting stuff that they can do with his character. And I'm excited to see if they... Maybe I'm overhyping him too much in my mind, but we'll see. Separated. That night is reading a strange energy. It has to be the high celebrant. The one that killed Sir Osiris, we're here. We'll get that barrier down. Your ghost close, God. Osiris, it's heading your way. 
Good. I've retreated deeper into the shrine. I think this may have been a trap. The tower you saw on the way in, that's a hive cryptolith. It's a conduit of darkness. One of many. The High Celebrant is using them to deploy soldiers across dimensions and tempt others to Sivu Arath's side. From other if dimensions. If I don't make it out of this, I want you to tell Saint. Tell him yourself. Tell him yourself. Correct Roger. answer, Ghost. We have multiple Hive signatures headed Osiris's way. We're closing in, but facing heavy resistance. You're here! Finally! Is it done? Uh, uh, calm down to you! Oh! No. Osiris! No. We warned you it was going to be dangerous down here. Especially for the ghostless. And... I'm glad to see we're all okay, though. I'm Glint, by the way. It's a pleasure to meet you. Glint is so awkward and cute. Go on. Introduce yourself. They call me... The Crow. My boss wants to see you. It's impossible. Hell yeah. Hi, Crow! What's this? Thought I told you to bring me the warlock Osiris. Explain yourself. Osiris. Lost his ghost. He's gone back to the tower to recover. You light markers never cease to amaze me. You deal violent so easily. And suffer loss so poorly. Such fragile killers. We'll finish what he started. And what's that? Hmm? Avenge, Sagira. Eliminate the High Celebrant. Mm -hmm. I had it in my sights. If your friend hadn't needed saving. You forget your place, little... Boy, he's so edgy right now. Right. My apologies, Baron. Now then, perhaps we can help each other out, eh? I know how accomplished you are at exacting revenge. <laughs> Sivor Rath is using her high celebrant and those damn cryptolids to corrupt Elixney. Oh, not only Cabal. But I'm losing soldiers and glimmer by the skiff load. That's right. I know what Osiris was doing on the moon. I also know you'll fare far better given the uh, proper motivation. Leave us, Crow. The Guardian and I have terms to discuss. Wait. Oh. <laughs> bird, Damn. Something, he, he, mm. I hope he comes out of his shell. He seems very sad. He just seems very, very sad right now. I have to imagine you share in my appreciation of fate's cruel sense of humor. I found him wandering the reef like a piece of wind-blown trash. Aimless, hopeless, hmm. no memory of the prince he was. Now, I could have sent him off to the tower, but... We all know what's waiting for him there. I couldn't let that happen. So I took him in. As a kindness. As far as his loyalty is concerned, I took a few extra precautions and made some modifications to his ghost's shell. Now, if he ever flies too far from the nest, Boom. 
spider. That ugly business out of the way. Let's focus on what really matters. Oh, that's twisted. Yes. This hive infestation. I propose a partnership. You go out there and do what it is you do best, and I'll uh, lend you the resources you need to get it done. Hmm. Maybe Spider. even a little extra something on the side. <laughs> Just don't mention the name Aldrin Soth. For his sake. Hmm. Aldrin Sov has been reborn as a guardian and now goes by the name Crow. After gloating over having his former prince in his employ, Spider proposes a mutual collaboration to deal with Sibuarath's infestation and offers Crow's services as aid. Speak with Crow to learn more about how to. I feel bad for Crow. Um, because he's. This isn't really. He's kind of enslaved a little bit right now, which would explain his edginess and his sadness that's coming off right now. We gotta, we gotta free him. If we can. If Spider will allow it. The reef's sky has holes in it. And the whole system's in chaos. Of course, Zivu Arath decided now was the right time to corrupt herself and army. We call them Wrathborn. Wrathborn, okay. Most of them are elixir like Spider. Others... Well... Spider wants the lines of Glimmer open, High God or not. Ask me to help you deal with Zivu Arath's High Celebrant. Apparently, the Guardians of the Last City are old friends of mine. But... I don't remember you. <sighs> I found some hive artifacts gathering dust in Spider's Trove, and fashioned them into a lure. Wrathborn go crazy for them. When they take the bait, I wish there were some other way. But her magic's driven them mad. Hunting them down is the only way to weaken Zivu Arath's grip on the shore. My boy's got compassion. He says he wish there's some other way. Like Spider says, Violence is the only language the Hive understand. For now, we can start small, work our way up her command chain. When we reach the High Celebrant, we'll take it down. Stop Zivo Arath from corrupting anyone else. Don't take this the wrong way, but it's... nice to be working with another Light Bearer. Hmm, cute. The amnesiac light bearer once known as Prince Oldrinsov of the Reef. Huh. Sivu Arath's minions are a threat to business on the shore, and Spider wants them dealt with. Crow has cobbled together a lure from Old Hive Artifact. It seems to be effective at baiting out the Wrathborn, Sivu Arath's corrupted army. Acquire the lure from Crow's workshop. He's a tinkerer? Sivu Arath's stench permeates this entire area. Not for long. Crush and follow us. Make them think twice about flaunting their presence on the shore. It's running from the Kryptolith. What should we do? It'll return at full strength if we don't finish the job. Chase it down. Success. I hope Spider is impressed. I wouldn't bet on the Spider's kindness. With him, it's better to have leverage. Crow gives a wry smile. Nice work, you picked that up quickly. But that's only the beginning. His smile fades. There are much more dangerous Wrathborn than that one. He checks the sights on his weapon, so let's get to work. Continue charging the lore. Man, he feels so... muted. He feels so... I don't know. I feel like there's so much room for him to grow. And I'm excited to see where that goes, if if it does at all. And this might just be who he is as Crow. As Spider summons you back in, in his sanctum, you can hear the greed in his voice. It seems he has important information for you, and information is always valuable. My crows return to the nest. 
as the crow flies, Spider felt a presence in his lair, an ephemeral thing that was perhaps nothing more than a waking dream, but not all dreams are so ethereal. My lair is a sanctum, Guardian, a space where I alone hold dominion. I don't like the idea of someone or something deciding it wants to eavesdrop, or worse. Crow looks distracted when you approach. His eyes hold a distant and faraway quality. But when he sees you, there's a dawning look of recognition. For a moment, it's as if he sees you with new eyes. But it isn't the look of an enemy. It's the look of a friend. A look of trust. Aww. <laughs> Are we- <laughs> No! Are we gonna help him come out of his shell? I can't handle that. Do you have a minute? Something's been going on and I'm... I've been having these strange dreams lately. Uh oh. Vivid. Real. Glint. Glint thinks there might be something to them. I'm flying. There's a green forest, mountains, European dead zone, I think. Sometimes the clouds part, and where there should be a bright blue sky, there's just... darkness. Mm. I'm free, soaring toward a distant pillar of light. But the dream always ends the same way. That light flickers like a candle flame and goes out. And then there's nothing. Huh. I can't shake it. It's all I think about. Perhaps it's like an imagery of he might become free from Spider, but his past is still what it is. He's still the one who killed Cade, and I don't think he can ever escape that. Maybe that's the meaning of the dream. Would you come with me? See if anything's there. Yeah. Crow is experiencing troubling dreams, and he believes that he believes involve a peril in the EDZ. He has trusted you to help him discover if they are more than just dreams. Cry from beyond. I'm worried about Crow. If these are more than just dreams, it could be the harbinger of something terrible. Ghost. This is it. The geography matches my dream exactly. There was a bird, or I was a bird. Uh, sometimes it's hard to remember. I'll scout the high route. Can you take the lower path? Watch out for Taken up there. My boy needs a dream journal. He needs to he needs to write that Sabathun shit down. Sabathun might be hiding, but her minions are active as ever. Do you remember anything else about your dream? Someone was calling to me, but I couldn't understand. It sounded like they were under down a long tunnel. Whoa, what happened there? It sounded like they were under down a long tunnel. Underwater? <laughs> That's a weird audio glitch. Um, then... Nothing. Did, Cryptic. Did you just hear that? Affirmative. Did you notice the way the sound scatters? This? What? No, I... But that's... It resonated on the same frequency as the Traveler. That hawk. It was made of the light. It was real. The dream, the bird. I've got coverage on you from up here. I'll watch your back when you go in. Be careful. Ghost, can you patch Glint into your feed? I need to see what's in there. You're patched in. I don't understand how any of this is possible. Guardians don't experience visions of their past lives. But there are historic records from the Dark Age detailing visions experienced by survivors of the Collapse. What hmm. were the nature of these visions? They varied, but the most widely held belief is they came from the dormant traveler, like the survivors were experiencing dreams. If <laughs> these audio glitches are so annoying, <laughs> it dreams. Whatever was calling to you in your dreams, Crow, it's in there. A piece of the traveler. I don't think it's a coincidence that the Taken are so active here. Savathun? She knows about this. Has to. Interesting. Taken. Out here too. We'll cover the entrance. So my other theory was completely wrong about of what his dreams were meaning. They're more literal. <laughs> huh. I know this gun. It looks like Hawkmoon. Or at least part of it. I thought it was lost forever when the Red Legion destroyed the tower. 
Hawkmoon? No. It's an effigy of Hawkmoon. Made from the same material as the outer shell of the Traveler. This reminds me of the gift the Pyramid left us on Io. The one Eris transformed into a weapon. It's undeniably of the light. My dream. The bird. The voice. Calling to me as the darkness closes in. It's not a coincidence. Are you suggesting the Traveler spoke to you? This may be the only way a paracausal entity, the Traveler, can communicate with us. Why me? I've always believed in my purpose as a ghost. We are all part of a broader design. Now that the Traveler is awake and whole again, that plan is set in motion. I don't know if I want to be somebody's cosmic plaything. <laughs> that's a fair, that's a fair thing to say. It's a cycle, Crow says confidently. Life, death, rebirth. The Traveler is trying to tell us something in metaphor because it, or we, lack the words to have a true conversation. This gun, an effigy of a firearm spun from the same material as the Traveler. These crystals inside the frame, they're dark, but part of me is certain they should be glowing. Glint thinks we need to charge the crystals with light, as if we're trying to bring the gun back to life. He hesitates. The way you do with a dead guardian. I'm ready to test that theory whenever you are. Collect and generate orbs of power to strengthen Hawkmoon. Whose gun is Hawkmoon? Am I drawing a blank? Hawkmoon is transforming before our eyes. Every step we take, it changes. Grows stronger. On our way back from the EDZ, I remembered something else. A dream of a dream. You were carrying the effigy. It was simply radiant, charged with a power I've never felt before. We were taking it to the Shard of the Traveler, together, and then... I don't know what happens next, but we are going to find out. Hmm. I wonder if Crow is kind of like the Traveler's new speaker, in that it is kind of speaking to him, but not quite. And why, why Crow, I wonder? Guardian, the coordinates the Traveler sent us lead to the dam. It's overrun by Taken, but we're going deep inside. They're less active on those levels. I'll scout out the spots the Taken usually infest. Clear the path for you as best I can. Do you come out here often, Crow? Not as much since we met, but I used to when on assignment. It's quiet out here. No one to bother me. Or for me to bother. Oh. This feather both exists and doesn't exist. Paracausal it's a feather. manifestation of potential energy. The choice between action and inaction. Keep an eye out for Taken. That's exactly the sort of thing Savathun would love to get her spindly little hands on. Spindly little hands. Not to worry you or anything, but there's definitely something going on here. What he means is that we've picked up numerous paracausal readings throughout the dam. And a number of very agitated Taken. We'll handle Savathun's Taken, but the other energy signatures are closer to you. Can you look into it? Don't mind the mess. Glint's a terrible maid. This is just where I come to get some distance when I need it. This little crappy hole in the wall is his little refuge? Some place to call my own. No! It's his crow's nest. It absolutely is not. <laughs> No, I feel so bad for him. I forgot this was here. My first memories are waking up under this shroud. The first thing that was mine. I didn't drink that by myself in case you were curious. It was comforting somehow. I couldn't bring myself to throw it away. Someone cared enough to lay me to rest. In fact, I didn't have any of it. After Glint brought me to life, I quickly came to realize that Guardians recognized me as whoever I was before. They... weren't always kind. <sighs> so I took to wearing a helmet to hide my face. Oh. Before a spider. Even then, I rescued a warlock and her ghost once. She offered me a drink afterward, but I left before she came back with it. I don't know why, but I returned for the empty bottle later. I've always wondered how she would have treated me if I'd stayed. Oh. If she saw my face. 
I've learned many things since my second birth. Fear. Humility. But this... This was where I learned pride. That sword belonged to the Hive Knight I killed to protect Osiris. It felt good, saving someone so important to the Vanguard. Someone who used to be an outcast. It was like I had finally found my purpose. Like I was brought back for a reason. And there you were, Guardian. Ah, oh, right. Clint gave this to me. It was a gift. It was the dawning. Your first dawning. The first time I ever felt like it might be safe to be around other Guardians. I'm not stupid. I know... The person I used to be, he did something terrible. Oh yeah, he did. I can feel it when people look into my eyes and see him. The way you looked at me when we met. I don't ever want to know him. Oh. Something's happening. No, I can feel it happening. I'm falling in love with him. I'm detecting massive gravity distortions in the dam. I can help him. Let's I can fix him. Stairs. When he's taken or destroyed, they'll collapse into singularities of paracausal energy. Use that to disrupt their shield. That poor guy. Uh, on our way back, I felt something. It's a yearning for change, for adventure. Crow smiles awkwardly. It feels childish, but it's like the gun, or maybe the traveler, wants us to experience triumph. Glint thinks this may have to do with elevated states of emotion, like we need to attune our minds to a specific wavelength. Crow doesn't seem completely convinced, but there's a part of him deep down that believes it's true. I, I think we should try, Crow asserts together no y'all y'all help 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 i'm falling in love with him i he was what i okay i have to be honest when i first saw him he was so like in his little shell that i was kind of disappointed but i can see him cracking out of his little shell and coming out of his comfort zone and uh <laughs> i really like it there's increased taken activity here it's going to be much more dangerous than last time good thing we're here to back you up the Traveler is calling for us. Hawkmoon is resonating with the Shard. I think this is it. Ooh. It's done. You're the Traveler, aren't you? Or you're oh. a part of it. Of us. Paracausal energy readings are... My sensors are overloading. The Taken are trying to stop us from communing with the Traveler. Hmm. Energy readings have normalized. The Hawk, it's gone. I'm not picking up anything either. Sabathun. Hawk Moon is whole again. Reborn. She can't take that from us. The Unclaimed Lightbearer. Spies from both the city and Reef have become aware of an unclaimed light bearer, though they have not yet been able to put a name or face to the reports. Their attention has only focused now that this light bearer has fallen prey to the shore's self-appointed overseer. It is a matter of time until all is laid bare before prying eyes. You would be wise not to hasten this effort. Instead, give credence to this. Our crow is a new light. Attention is required elsewhere, and whatever latent grudge you bear against the flesh the light has inhabited carries merit no longer. Uldren Sov is dead. Do not pummel the corpse of your grievances. Keep this information between us. Or, if the first trigger pull was not enough to satisfy, know that you only risk our chance at victory for a scrap of catharsis. I do not believe this to be your nature. Sivu Arath leaves no room for distraction. The appearance of her mongrels are the fingers of her encroaching grasp. We have a single moment to halt their advance, for if she is successful, her brood will establish a foothold that could take centuries to purge. If it could be purged at all, falter and she will swallow this system. Secrets keep the peace for now. Truth in time. I will assist you Eververse where I can. Just a title. Osiris. I love Osiris. Crow assesses your blood-spattered armor with grim admiration. Good work, Guardian. Looks like the Hive God of War has com competition for her title. He half-jokes. 
I wouldn't want to be on your bad side. Oh boy. I know there are some players out there that probably won't forgive Crow and still see him as Aldrin, despite him being like no memories and being this cute little bundle of anxiety that he is now. But uh, I, I don't see him as Aldrin Glad at to all. see you're still in the Petra! fight. Petra! Ooh, oh, look at this pose, dude. Ooh. Ooh. Hello, Petra. The prince lives. My sympathies. Petra turns to you. I dreamt of their passing. The worlds, those who remained in the shadow that hung over them. I'm afraid the Dreaming City hasn't fared well since the darkness swept through our system. You can taste the difference in the air. It is as if a war is being fought within smoke, bending around us and slipping through our hair, leaving nothing but scorched scent. I do not enjoy being left out of the loop, but we preserve. As you turn to leave, she stops you. There's one more thing. A rumor. She considers for a moment before speaking. The prince lives. Petra's eyes scan your reaction. Oh, ooh. <laughs> impossible, I know. But it's, if it's more than a rumor, I don't want to hear it from a report. Ooh, do we tell her? Do we get the chance to tell her right now? Or do we heed Osiris's warning? Do you bring news on our rumor? Or have you come to see how deep the cryptoliths have burrowed? Petra hides the stress of command behind steely eyes. I hear you're not the only guardian running chores for Spider. I'd suggest caution, but you lot know what you're getting yourselves into. Petra slaps your shoulder. Spider lackey or not, you're a welcome sight. Her humorous tone quickly fades to seriousness. Sibu Arath's presence is strong here. I'm not keen on another hive matron worming their way into awoken territory. Whatever terror she is sowing here, Petra says as if delivering an order, burn it out. The queen's wrath straightens her shoulders. We will hold back her abominations where we can, but my corsairs are not impervious to her call. Nor am I. I leave that to you. All right. We got you, Petra. Redouble your efforts. It feels like it'll never end, Crow says. No matter how many of the Wrathborn we kill, it feels like Suvu Wrath has six times as many waiting to take their place. What worries me is we're only seeing the Elixni among the converted, but I know remnants of the Red Legion were corrupted as well. We need to redouble our efforts. Oh! I wonder if Keitel is just gathering the Red Legion to protect them from Sivu Arath's influence? Because Callus is kind of like a weird neutral party. I wonder if Keitel is also going to be a weird neutral party? Uh, we need to redouble our efforts, focus on hunting down the most powerful of Sivu Arath's servants, and find a way to shut the cryptolits down forever. Or, I suppose, by trying. Repeatedly, he adds with a smirk. <laughs> no, I hate that I love him. <laughs> You come around the corner and hear a loud metallic clang as Crow hurls a wrench at his workbench in anger. He looks sheepish when he sees you and begins to tidy up. Spider's attitude toward these hunts is getting to me. He confesses, I've tried to reason with him that there might be a way to save the corrupted Lixni. He won't hear it. I know the Wrathborn are a threat, but I refuse to abandon these people to death or a fate worse than that. They took me in and they deserve better. Look at this cute boy. The compassion. That ain't no Aldrin. This is somebody else entirely. Crow leans against the table, his head bowed. There was an Elixni, he says. A salvager dreg named Savik. We worked together a few times out on the shore. A few days ago, I saw her in a horde of Wrathborn. Managed to isolate her, drag her away, and restrain her. He refuses to meet your eyes. I tried to get through to her, to reach the Savik I knew, but she fought so hard to free herself that she nearly tore one of her arms off. Almost like a zombie plague. That's crazy. Crow swallows, and you see his throat jump. Silence, then. I didn't know what else to do, so I gave her what peace I could. This poor man's. He's trying his best. The, the Wrathborn does sound like a zombie plague, though. You just missed Osiris, Crow notes with a look over his shoulder. He's been teaching me a hive dowsing ritual so we can map out the interdimensional pathways through the Ascendant Plane. Use what we're learning about the Cryptoliths to track down the High Celebrant. Crow puffs out his chest just so. He says I'm a fast study, and maybe the spider might allow him to continue tutoring me when this is over. There's a lot I could learn from him. The corner of his mouth crooks up. When I asked him where he learned so much about the Hive, he told me not to ask questions I wasn't ready to have answers to. Crow laughs. I can see why people think he's kind of an ass. I mean, he is kind of an ass, but because of his relationship with Saint-14, I find him more endearing. 
Because he's he's only an ass because he's so serious and trying to help everyone. Crow glances around the area furtively before accepting your offered gift, then stuffs it under his cloak without checking what it is. He soon notices the scent of almond and chocolate and looks at you with gratitude. Thank you, he says softly, truly. Do we give this man chocolates and almonds? <laughs> and he's all awkward about it. <laughs> Spider's getting impatient, is the first thing Crow says. He's a ball of frenetic energy, struggling not to pace. A horde of Wrathborn descended on a docked catch and slaughtered the crew. Crow's, Crow's mouth flattens. Not that our Baron is concerned about the loss of life beyond the work stoppage it causes. He sounds bitter. He ever so politely reminded me that the explosions he planted in Glint. Uh, so Crow knows about the explosives. Crow takes a breath and gives you a sharp look. If we don't find the High Celebrant soon. He knows he doesn't have to finish the end of that sentence. Instead, with quiet desperation, he, he says, we have to work harder. Damn. He's fully aware of his predicament. Welcome, my most productive guardian. Have you heard? The Crow reports our High Celebrant is finally within reach. He and the Warlock Osiris have used what you've learned on your hunts to track it to the Dreaming City. My hunter, exemplary, an emblematic paragon, makes me wonder why I needed you. <laughs> I jest, of course. I'm sure you do. Though I have to admit, I carry some trepidation. Mm -hmm. My pet stands at your shoulder like an equal. Your encouragement makes him think himself a guardian. <laughs> the vanity. Do not let him so close, or spoil him with pretty dreams. Kill the High Celebrant. Break Zivorath's hold over my shore, and you can claim any prize in my lair as your reward. The Crow. You'll have earned it. The Crow. The Crow, please and thank you. Spider is, usually I like him because he's kind of obnoxious, but he's still helpful. Right now he's really pissing me off because of the situation he has Crow in. Remember, the Celebrant must be killed in the Ascended Plane. Mm. Destroy it. And you will deal Zivu a wrath, a crippling blow. Good. Right. No celebrant, no cryptoliths. No cryptoliths, no wrathborn. Let's see her fight us without an army. Crow, are you there? Somewhat. I tracked the celebrant through a portal into swirling darkness. A gateway to the Senate plane. As I said, swirling darkness. <laughs> I'm learning its tricks now, studying how it moves through these realms. It's like a shark cutting through black water. Keep an eye on it. I can do more than that. Ha! Tagged it. It's bleeding energy and on its way back to you. So he fought it in the Ascendant Plane. We're fighting it outside the Ascendant Plane. That's interesting. Fled back into the Ascendant Plane, Ooh. but it left something behind. Told you I tagged it. That's residual energy, a blood trail. Destroy it and the essences in your lure should reopen the portal. Cool. Cool. Come back, coward! The Celebrant seeks to bring more territory under Zigor Wrath's control. Be quick. She will not be pleased with trespassers. We made it through the portal back to the Dreaming City. No sign of the Celebrant. This man is bleeding out like crazy. This is too much, like, hive blood. Where are you? At your coordinates, walking the other side of the same coin. The way I see it, as long as we're in both planes, it has nowhere to hide. That's smart. Celebrant sighted. Do your thing. This isn't working. We can't truly damage the Celebrant without reclaimed light. Hold tight. I'm on it. We flushed them out of the Ascendant Plane and into the open. I just shot them until they ran, but I like the way you put it better. <laughs> I just shot them until they ran. <laughs> 
Oh. To think you can enter this plane using nothing but dead essences. Zivor Wrath strikes where Sabathun first pushed through the veil and entered the Dreaming City. Has she no ambition of her own? Just copying Stop her sister. Energy. We can't get through. Holy! I think the celebrant realized we marked it. It sealed the portal behind itself. Oh. It trapped in here? Your companions are trapped in the ascendant plane with the celebrant. And they are already lost. Like Sagira. The no. portal closed, but maybe there's enough hive magic left in the lure to activate some other way through. Ooh. I hope you can hear this. The celebrant turned it around on us. The hunter becomes the hunted. Oh god. I wanted to... Listen, if things get ugly for us in here, just know it's not your fault. Everything I did... I did because I wanted to. Thank you for letting me have a choice. No! <laughs> There's no way no, they kill him. We're in the ascendant plane. Do you read us? Nothing in here I can't handle. What are you talking about? The celebrant broke your legs and threw you into an abyss. Nothing I can't handle. <laughs> the high celebrant's just up ahead, and I think I have a plan. No, I'm so attached to him already. They cannot. They cannot do this to me. Force Agira. Are you keeping it busy? I'm nearly at the portal where you came in. With your broken legs? <laughs> like Osiris said, the celebrant must die in the ascended plane, and you're our best shot at making that happen. He's leaving. I survived by watching the world around me and learning from my light. I've studied how that thing creates those portals. Energy readings are spiking. It's going That's to create useful. another portal. I'm in position on the other side. You're smoking it out, Guardian, but if I block the exit, it burns. Bro, the portal. I see it. Now, finish it. The high celebrant of Zivu Arath is no more. How did you manage that? Pro destroyed its portal from the other side when it tried to escape. Oh. I knew he wouldn't really leave us. No, never. <laughs> oh, bring its head, would you? Spider will want proof when you come to collect. It's been an honor, Guardian. Oh. Please let us free Crow. It's done. So it is. So it is. All right, Guardian. As promised, you can have a prized bauble from my lair. I want him. As compensation him. for your heroics. I want him. Yes! Cute. Real funny. You said anything in the room. <laughs> Give Crow! Give Crow! Oh, you really want my little bird? Yes. Fine. You can have him. Fly away. And get the hell out of my lair. Hell yeah. Oh, I'm so happy. I mean, it's obvious in hindsight, but I was still, like, stressing it. Now what? I... I don't know. It doesn't feel real. Freedom. Why would you do this for us? Because you're a guardian. Oh, I'm gonna cry. <laughs> I'm so happy. Crow seems different today, as though a weight has lifted off of him. Still can't believe it, he says with cautious amazement, but Spider was quick to agree to your terms. He never gives up that easy, which means he thinks there's something to gain. He sent an engineer to remove the explosives from Glint, so he's held up his end of the bargain, for now. Crow's wariness for the future is tempered by a growing sense of optimism for the present. As for me, I plan on sticking around, he cracks a rare smile, just a little longer. The High Celebrant may be gone, but we need to clear out the remaining Wrathborn before the Cryptoliths will decay. That could take weeks, possibly months. Crow squares his shoulders to the task ahead.
I'll get things started. Then you, Tower Guardians, can handle the rest. I've earned my freedom, and I intend to enjoy it. Oh, I'm so happy! Hell yeah, dude! That went exactly like I wanted it to. So that's it for Season of the Hunt. That, that was... I, again, I just have to be honest, I was kind of not loving Crow initially when we first met him, but then as we progressed, I started to understand why he was so edgy and quiet and sad looking. It's because he was a chained up bird, a caged bird, right? And now he's free, dude. I'm so happy. That went so, so well. Um, I don't think we've seen the last of Sivu Arath at all. I imagine as the seasons keep going through Beyond Light, that's probably what we're going to be dealing with is more and more Sivu Arath. Um, but overall, Season Hunt was incredible. That was a really fun watch and I cannot wait to get to the other seasons. Uh, if you've enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like, consider subscribing for the rest of my Destiny journey, um, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye! Also, I really love Crow. Bye! <laughs>